had a great time here, a time that we're going to remember for the rest of our lives. I think we have the best fans in college hockey. When we were coming out of the tunnel and you hear the R.I.T. You know, the place felt like it was shaking. It's been the best four years of my life, hands down. It was another championship season for R.I.T. hockey. The Tigers once again hoisted the Atlantic Hockey Trophy. We were on the bench high-fiving, hugging, and the buzzer finally went and jumped over the boys and threw all my stuff off. Just holding that trophy over our head at the end was pretty phenomenal. The conference title led to the NCAA playoffs, where the Tigers knocked off top-seeded Minnesota State and advanced to the Elite Eight. I think we're on the right track of setting the expectations that we have, which are high expectations, but also then made us appreciate how much work and how difficult it is to win championships. Being nominated for the Hobie Baker is obviously you know, an individual thing, but you, you can't do it without your team. And we've been great this year as a team, and you know, exposure for RIT has been great. It was an incredible season as the Tigers moved into the Gene Policini Center. The new on-campus arena has more than 4,000 seats with amenities for fans and all the first-class facilities for the team. It's outstanding. This compares to the top of the nation. Whether it's the workout room, the training room, our locker room, it's all top-notch. We love the arena. It's, you know, they did a great job on it. We knew our fans would carry over right from Ritter and be just as loud over here. When we hear them start the RIT chant, oh, it's, you get goosebumps every time. It's pretty amazing. RIT plays in the Atlantic Hockey Conference against teams from New England to Colorado. And the Tigers start each season at Rochester's 11,000 seat Blue Cross Arena. The homecoming contest draws sellout crowds for opponents like Penn State, Michigan, and Boston College. It's been sold out weeks before the game now. That's just over 11,000 people. It's a highlight on our schedule, that's for sure. We have 11,000 fans all wearing orange, a lot of parents, and they're all screaming for you to win, and it's always a tough game as well. RIT hockey has a long and storied tradition that includes a trip to the NCAA Division I Frozen Four in 2010. The Tigers are also sending players to the pros, including the NHL. Always been my dream is to play professional hockey and RIT definitely prepared me for that and helped me get there and you know now that I'm there I just want to make the most of it. It shows that if you do have a solid performance on the ice you have the opportunity to go play pro potentially in the NHL one day. We've got two players currently playing in the NHL with uh, Steve Pinizzato and, and Chris Tanev, and they've been great representatives of RIT. The path to future success starts with a renowned education. RIT has nine leading colleges with an extensive selection of academic programs that includes business, liberal arts, health science, and engineering. The campus is located in Greater Rochester, New York, three hours from Toronto and five hours from New York City. If guys like myself aren't going to go and try and play pro, you've got that great education. Or the guys that will go play pro, they got that education to fall back on. I ultimately settled on uh, business management and I've loved it. Classes are great, teachers are amazing. I've learned so much uh, about business and you know I hope to carry that through and you know maybe own my own business one day as well. In the end when you come out you know that you're set to get a job pretty much anywhere that you apply. Getting pucks out, getting pucks deep. Play fast, play gritty, die on empty here. Die Wayne Wilson, with more than 300 victories at RIT, signed a seven-year contract extension in 2015. The 2010 National Coach of the Year has a dedicated staff who helped keep RIT at the forefront of college hockey. Strong on the draw. I'm just lucky that I think I have uh, two of the best assistant coaches in Brian Hills. We're going to try and carry it in. And Dave and Salako. You're under pressure, let's use the glass and get it out. We're always a very fast moving, uh, dynamic team where we get after things uh, from penalty killing, uh, power play, and then five on five, we want to force mistakes and pressure pucks. A hockey tradition that continues to grow at the Rochester Institute of Technology. I think the decision to come to RIT was probably the best decision I could have made, and it was the best four years of my life. I'm going to walk out of here with a tremendous education, an opportunity to potentially play pro hockey. The world's my oyster right now and I have RIT to thank for that. <laughs>